Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you again tonight for another video, and this is for an episode review of The Witcher Season 2, Episode 2, that I'm going to be reviewing for Care Morin, I believe it's called. Kair Morin, or whatever the episode name's called, I'm not sure. Uh, I did mistakenly say in my Unforgivable movie review, or the Unforgivable movie review, that I said it was a movie. I was mistaken there. It's an episode. And as a disclaimer, if you have not seen this episode yet on Netflix, I am going to spoil what I watched during this uh, episode review for Season 2, Episode 2. Uh, so, if you haven't seen this episode yet, do not watch this video. So, now I'm going to get into what I watched for this Season 2, Episode 2 of The Witcher, and let you know my thoughts on it. So, let's dive into this review. Now, if you have seen this episode, you feel free to watch, because I will be spoiling what I watched. Um, at the beginning of this episode was basically where... The Witcher, uh, Henry Cavill's character, Geralt, or Geralt, I meant to say, because um, it has a T at the end of his last name, or his name, I should say. Um, he's taking Cirilla, Princess Cirilla of Sentra, to uh, his home or whatever, to train, I believe. For the war to come, I guess you could say, against Niflheim or whatever they're called. Or Niflheim or something like that. I'm not sure. It It's one of these uh, villainous enemies that they're going to be fighting in the war to come for this show. Uh, but basically, this was a really good episode. I had a good time watching it. I don't know if it was better than the first one, but it was enjoyable. I haven't seen any flashbacks so far with this season. So, yeah, that's a good thing so far. So far, already two episodes down now, and no flashbacks, so. And basically, she, Cirilla, is trying to figure out what she can do Opposed to what she's going to become, I guess you could say. Uh, if she's going to be some sort of mage or whatever. Um, some type of warrior in the coming war to come and all that for this show. Um, yeah, there's this guy, Eskel, that comes in the show. And sorry about the ding, it's my phone. Uh, Eskel comes in the show, and he gets turned by this tree monster kind of thing, and the witcher, Henry Cavill, Geralt, I meant to say, uh, he has to pretty much slay him, they're trying to save him, the leader of the witchers is trying to save him, but apparently couldn't, and almost chokes him to death, and Gerald does the finishing move and kills him. Uh, Eskel, one of the witchers that got turned, and by this tree monster he was hunting before he got to the witcher's home. The witcher's is home, or whatever. <laughs> but basically, yeah, I enjoyed this episode. It was a pretty good episode. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's my favorite one, but it's an enjoyable one. And after that, there's another scene with, uh, basically Yennefer and the girl from Niflheim, or Niflheim or whatever, one of the sorcerers or whatever, that evil sorcerer, uh, that's in the show, and she's basically, uh, been captured by elves, they got captured by elves, I should say, 
and they have to find a way to escape, I guess you could say, but they're probably going to be uh, stuck in that episode, and then they go to this certain underground place in this, uh, the elves' is home. Uh, sorry for my yawning. I'm really sorry about yawning in this video. Yeah, and the elves is home or whatever, and they have to figure out what this hut thing is, and it's apparently an evil witch that's basically commanding some people that are seeing a different person. An evil witch is behind all this uh, stuff and took Yennefer's powers or whatever. Yennefer lost her powers after Sodom. The If you've seen the last episode of season one, she lost her powers after she started a wildfire with her magic and all that. And it was crazy. It was a pretty awesome fight, but I guess she lost all her magic uh, in the show. I mean, not in real life, but yeah, she's a great actress that plays Yennefer. Um, but yeah, overall, now I gotta rate this episode. There was a lot of stuff to cover that I wanted to cover in this episode review. Um... It is shorter than the last episode. It's 58 minutes. So it is almost an hour long, but it's an enjoyable episode. So overall, I think uh, The Witcher Season 2, Episode 2 was a pretty good episode. Highly recommend you check it out. There were some things that you have to watch. If you haven't seen the show yet, watch Season 1 first. Because it'll give you an explanation. But just fair warning, there's a lot of flashbacks in the episode, which you don't know which is past, which is present, and the first season is a bit of a clusterfuck of a confusing watch, I should say. Uh, that's what I think, but you, it's for the viewer to decide what they think of it. So for a score, I'm going to give... Episode 2 for Season 2 of The Witcher, a 9 out of 10. This was a really good episode. I had a good time watching it. It's a little downgrading because of the fact that there were some moments in the episode that kind of turned me off with how the episode's going to perform, and I am very sorry that I'm yawning in this video. Uh, it's just... Uh, uh, it was probably from the heat outside when I was walking home uh, f after running some errands and all that. But basically, I had a good time watching this episode. So, yeah, definitely check this show out if you haven't checked it out. I'd recommend Season 2 more than Season 1. But you have to watch Season 1 and know what you're getting yourself into first. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the... Season 2, Episode 2 review, or for The Witcher, Season 2, Episode 2, if you've seen it. And if you haven't seen this show yet, definitely check it out. It's on Netflix. It's a pretty good show. Um, the first season's a little underwhelming, but the second season is starting to look a lot better. But if you did enjoy this episode 2 review I made for you guys tonight for The Witcher Season 2, Episode 2, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I had a little bit more to talk about with this episode and what I watched. And basically, I had a good time watching this episode. And it was a good watch. I can't wait to see what I'm going to be in store for uh, tomorrow night for the next episode review that I'm going to be doing and what I'm going to be watching for the next episode, which is season two, episode three. So you'll be seeing that review tomorrow night. So definitely tune in for that. I hope you enjoyed this quite lengthy video for the Witcher season two, episode two. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Stay safe. 
Take care, and I'll see you soon in my next video, which will be for the Under Oath Marathon Studio Album Review for the next album review of theirs that I'm going to be reviewing. I think it's called They're Only Chasing Safety I'm going to be reviewing, so definitely tune in for that video coming out tonight, and I'll see you in my next video.